Hi, Hiram here. I just got done doing tests with this simple carbon felt burner and I've had several requests to see what would happen if the burner didn't have the carbon felt in it. So what I did was I cut another can which is just this uh, Gillette foamy soap, shaving soap. You can get these at Target and other places for like a buck. Emptied it out of all of the uh, soap so it didn't come out anymore. So it means the pressure in here should be kind of light. Now this is the way I do it. If you want to do it this way, you take it upon yourself. But I just use a copper tube cutter like this. Mark up, mark off how high up I want this cut. And just roll it in here until it pops off. Very easy thing to do if you have the cutter. So this is to the same height as that one but doesn't have carbon felt like I said so now I'm going to use 15 milliliters or about uh, a half of a fluid ounce that's what I found out in the last test that was consumed with uh, getting two cups of water to a boil from 60 degrees a little less than a half of a fluid ounce or about 15 milliliters so I've got that in there I'm going to use the same pot stand uh, you can see the information on all this stuff looking at the other tests. Okay, my water is now at 60 degrees, so let me light this for the test. See, now the fluid, straight fluid alcohol being this cold is a little bit hard to light. When it was on the carbon felt, it just goes right off. Okay, that's lit. See? So there goes that. Here's two cups of water. Setting it 60 degrees. And let's see where this goes. Okay, there's the flame going, going, gone at 1727, 1727 and the temperature is about 204 degrees. Interesting. Hmm. That really, that gives me some ideas. Okay, on that one, that was a little warm. Again, it was the stove, the same stove, same type of stove as I did with the remote, remote where it has carbon felt in it, where the carbon felt just barely came up past the lip of the, the burner. This time I did it, but without the carbon felt. Two cups of water starting at 60 degrees didn't even get to a boil in 17 minutes and 27 seconds it ran out and the temperature only got up to 204 so and also in the beginning when I was trying to light this because the temperature here in the room now is 44 degrees uh, just the plain alcohol was a little hard to get lit whereas when I did it on the carbon felt I just put a match to it or flame to it and it went but that, gives, that makes me wonder what would happen if I did something like this but only put the carbon felt halfway up just so that it covers the uh, inlet valve the inlet port just put it like halfway up so that the flames are still going up through the can because what I'm looking for is something that does run a little bit cooler and longer for a baking project hmm gonna have to think about that Okay, so I hope that helps those that were asking what would happen with using the same burner but without the carbon felt. I thank you for watching. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.